I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is all about how to treat under eye wrinkles. We're going to talk about what causes it, how to prevent it, the key ingredients to treat it, um, Dr. V approved products. As you know, no, none of my videos have ever been sponsored. They will never be sponsored. So every product I recommend is evidence-based, how to layer them. And then if you want to upgrade procedures that you can also do too. So if that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. Now the fact is that with age we lose elasticity, we lose collagen. So from 21 years old onwards we lose 1% collagen every single year. And by the time you get to menopause it becomes more rapid loss of collagen and so wrinkles and dry skin become more prevalent. Um, then on top of that the skin around the eye is much thinner than the rest of the face it's only about 0.3 millimeter thick so like the thickness of a piece of paper for example that thin and so because of the constant movement that's happening from furrowing your eyebrows to smiling and there's fine lines forming from a dynamic perspective um, that helps lead to wrinkles around the eye area first if you also sleep on your face uh, or on your side like I do, um, that is going to affect your skin because that constant pressure that's happening all night uh, is going to lead to wrinkles and actually premature wrinkling. The second big cause of wrinkles around the eyes is UV damage. So unfortunately, when people wear their sunblock, they actually tend to forget to apply sunscreen around the eye area. But actually, when UV hits the skin, it leads to free radicals in the skin. Free radicals are the enemy. They damage your skin. They damage collagen, the most important structural protein of your skin, collagen gets damaged by UV. So wearing your SPF 50 and focusing around the eye area really is essential. Now around the eye area can feel quite sensitive. And so actually a lot of people prefer mineral sunscreens over chemical sunscreens because mineral sunscreens are anti-inflammatory. And as you know, this is our Inzinkable, Dr. V Inzinkable made for skin of color with no white cast. I'm wearing it right now. And I make sure I focus around my eye area too because I'm 38 years old now and wrinkles, you know, creep in. So I have to do everything I can to prevent wrinkles. And I start with my mineral SPF 50 under my foundation, makeup, etc. And it also forms like a nice um, glow to your skin because it's a dewy finish. So when you put foundation on top, you're going to have um, that dewy look to the skin. The second issue, uh, the third issue, sorry, is when you're, especially if you're in a hot country um, and you're driving with sun hitting your face it leads to squinting of the eyes and squinting of the eyes for an hour is going to lead to wrinkles over years so actually if you're in a hot country you really should be wearing sunglasses um, that protect you from uv it helps it protects your retina but it also stops that squinting um, and that is is going to be beneficial for me i get melasma here too so these are my sunglasses these are dr v anti-melasma sunglasses and they completely shield your face from uv if you get pigmentation on cheekbones but also it stops me from squinting when i'm driving because literally no uv can hit the skin um, these are my ones but whichever ones you want are great i would just recommend you get large uh, sunglasses to protect the skin too just so you know the link to purchase either of those products so inzinkable is down below skincare by drv.com and also the sunglasses is drvsunglasses.com as well so those are in the comments fourth uh, problem is smoking smoking is such an enemy of the skin because it leads to oxidative stress on the skin which also leads to free radicals which also damages collagen and this is why actually when you smoke your age wrinkles your face ages much faster because it's wrinkling much faster in addition when you smoke um, you have vasoconstriction so blood vessels basically uh, contract and so you have less vitamin A reaching skin cells to regenerate them and as it is with age we have less blood reaching our skin and this is why this is one of the reasons why we have decreased cell turnover with age and so actually the worst thing you can do is vasoconstriction 
when it comes to skin because it's going to lead to aging. Don't get this confused with vasoconstriction that you want to happen when you've inflamed the skin. So say you've burnt the skin and you put something cooling on there, that's a good thing to do because when vasodilation happens, we have inflammatory mediators come into the area, which leads to further inflammation. But actually what you want to do in that situation is to vasoconstrict because we don't want those inflammatory mediators coming in and creating a soup of inflammation in an area that's already inflamed. That's very different to chronic vasoconstriction, which happens with age and that leads to aging. So just in case, I know some of you are going to be confused, but hopefully that makes it clear. Now, basically, we tend to categorize wrinkles into three key areas. So first, we start off with dynamic wrinkles. So say, for example, I do this. Those are dynamic wrinkles. So when I'm moving, that's when a wrinkle will develop. This doesn't happen, for example, in children. Children can do this and they have no wrinkles. <laughs> the second is static wrinkles. So this means that if I'm at rest and the wrinkles are still there, those are static wrinkles. And the third type is a wrinkle fold. This is when facial structures start to drop and sag and you literally have a fold that develops into the skin. That's a wrinkle fold that happens later on. So there are, of course, a few things that we need to do to prevent it. Prevention is always better than cure um, for, for skincare as, as a rule of thumb. And so this is why I created this channel is because I want our children to have much better skincare than we did. As it is, the vast majority of skincare was made for Caucasian skin, um, about 95% of it. Um, and so we already have, you know, we're working with a fraction of the skincare that's available. Um, just because for us, we have large melanocytes that are easily triggered. I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. And unfortunately, the vast majority of skincare wasn't made with skin of color in mind. And so prevention really is key here. So number one is your SPF 50. Our children should be wearing sunscreen from six months old onwards without fail. It's not, um, I'm a, I live in a hot country situation. It's not, oh, my kids can't be bothered to wear their sunscreen or, you know, we're too busy to do sunscreen. Sunscreen really should be just absolutely part of brush, like brushing their teeth. They apply sunscreen simultaneously. Um, for me, it's when my kids get into the car, um, they both have in their door, um, I put their, uh, their skincare. So they both have a moisturizer, their Vaseline lip balm and their SPF 50 in both their drawers, doors and it just is part of the morning routine on their way to school. And so if they're doing this from a young age, they are going to be preventing wrinkling and pigmentation much later on than when it developed for us. In addition, there are supplements that you can take that will also help. So green tea, for example, is full of polyphenols. Um, and antioxidants. So antioxidants really in your food and drink just should be staple. So things that are highly uh, colored is a really easy way to remember it. So beetroot and broccoli are my two go-tos <laughs> when it comes to my antioxidant foods that I make sure I eat regularly. Um, and I also drink antioxidant drinks. So green tea, for example, coffee, also has uh, antioxidants in it too. So I know we get told a lot that we shouldn't be drinking tea and coffee, but actually in moderation, it's actually quite good for your skin. Um, the other thing is of course, collagen drinks. So for me, I drink my collagen drink every day. Um, I have marine collagen, it has the highest bioavailability. Uh, I have eight grams and um, I basically, my, I created my own marine collagen drink because I wanted all the vitamins that we need for skin of color. For us, we actually have a different profile of vitamins that are ideal for us because of the composition of our skin. Uh, so for example, for us, we have less ceramides in our skin, so I made sure that I put in humectants into this, um, such as hyaluronic acid. For us, we have, we especially live in the West, you have a lot less vitamin D than you should be taking, and a lot of, a lot of us don't take vitamin D supplements, and so I put it into the drink. So I remember asking you guys if you wanted the marine collagen drink that I make for myself, if you, want, if you wanted me to mass produce it for, for you, um, and you all said yes, yes, yes. I, there was like hundreds of red yeses in one of my videos. And so of course that is what I'm working on for you. I'm hoping we can get that out to you in the next three months. Um, but I love it and I think it's going to be hugely beneficial um, for, for us, specifically for skin of color and especially if you live in the West. If you want to learn more about vitamin D and skin of color, I've made a whole video for you. 
Um, but essentially our melanin does protect us from UV, but it also means that we're getting less vitamin D and vitamin D really is essential for our joints, for our bones, for our happiness. It's, it's a happy hormone, if you like. And that's why when you have skin of color, you tend to feel more depressed. Uh, you feel lower uh, in terms of mood if during the winter months as you do in the summer months. Um, and obviously I don't want that for you and so vitamin D really should be part of a supplement that we should all really be taking you know regardless now moving on to skincare ingredients that I love for the eye area let's start off with the antioxidants so vitamin A really is essential now the area around the eye is quite delicate and retinol might be too irritating for you unless it's encapsulated which means that it's basically it's it's in a lipid coat and so it doesn't irritate you penetrates better as well um, so look for that or retinol palmitate which is what i basically use in our antioxidant power serum so this is the antioxidant power serum um, and it's the one that i use for my face and it's got retinol palmitate in it um, alternatively you can use retinaldehyde i love 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 retinaldehyde but it is very expensive we use it in our pigmentation kits such as the facial pigmentation kit um, but potentially I might even do a more expensive version of our antioxidant serum and put in retinaldehyde because it is my favorite vitamin A but it is not cheap. The other antioxidants that I love are tetrahexyl decalascorbate, coenzyme Q10. Um, tetrahexyl decalascorbate is basically my favorite vitamin C because it's fat soluble and it absorbs into the, the dermis to stimulate collagen which is the reason why I put it into our antioxidant power serum. In here I put in retinol palmitate, tetrahexyl decalascorbic, coenzyme Q10 and vitamin E. So whenever you purchase yourself an antioxidant serum make sure two things. Number one is in combination because antioxidants are unstable so you have to use them together to stabilize them. If you purchase a serum that has one antioxidant in it you don't know how effective that ingredient is going to be. Number two, you want it in an airless pump. So because oxygen oxygenates antioxidants, you do not want oxygen near the product. So we put it into an airless pump for you so that it there's no oxygen around the actual antioxidant product. Now, because we have less ceramides in our skincare, it's important that we use humectants. Those are water magnets, things like glycerin and hyaluronic acid. So make sure those are in your skincare. Um, I love peptides as well to stimulate collagen because that is the reason why we're, we're getting wrinkles in the first place. Uh, we really need to be wearing ceramides in our skincare too because we have less. Uh, I'd also say make sure it's in an airless pump too. So for example, so for example, when we made the CeraPep Brightening Moisturizer, again, I had to make sure it was in a pump format to ensure that um, ceramides which are unstable, sorry, <laughs> Uh, to make sure that ceramides which are unstable um, are basically stabilized. The other key ingredient I want you to use is niacinamide. Niacinamide strengthens the skin barrier and ideally you want it in your moisturizer. So I put it into CeraPep Brightening Moisturizer for you at 2%. Whenever you buy niacinamide, make sure it's between 2 to 5%. Uh, that's where all the clinical studies are done at. Um, and we want to strengthen the skin around the eye area. Now I do have some Dr. V approved products, so let's start off with my favorite products. I like the CeraVe eye cream because it's got niacinamide in it plus ceramides. Um, number se the second product I like is OcuWake, that's the eye cream. It's NAFE safe, meaning no denatured alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils. That really is key uh, because those things can all lead to irritation. Irritation leads to inflammation, inflammation leads to wrinkles. So we do not want that. Um, it's basically mainly emollients in this particular product. There are no other actives in it, um, but it's a safe moisturizer to wear around the eye area. The third product I like is Face Theory Regina Calm Serum. So it's got sodium ascorbyl phosphate in it, licorice root extract and retinol. I like it uh, because it's basically a fatty moisturizer. Um, and if it's not leading to any irritation, it shouldn't do because it's encapsulated. Um, then I like that product too. The next one I like is Avene. Uh, it's a basic moisturizer. It's got no actives in it, but it's very good for sensitive skin or if you have rosacea. If you want something stronger, you can move on to our antioxidant power serum, which does have four antioxidants in it. Uh, plus I use silicones, which will help to smooth out any wrinkles. Um, and also the second product I would recommend is the CeraPep Brightening Moisturizer. In it we put ceramides, peptides, licorice root extract, which is good for any pigmentation around the eye area 
and niacinamide too. So the links for those two are down below. It's again, skincare by Dr. V. Now moving on to procedures that you can have done. So Botox and filler are really the two most popular aesthetic procedures done for this area. So Botox is injected into the muscle under the skin. It's a neurotoxin. It basically stops the signal uh, telling the muscle to contract. And this is why your face almost feels paralyzed when you have it. So what normally happens is your nerve will release something called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine will then um, attach to the receptor on the muscle, which causes it to contract. What Botox does is it prevents acetylcholine from even being released from the nerve. This means that there's less contraction, less movement, and therefore less wrinkles. Um, so results uh, usually last about three to 12 months. I've had Botox done myself. Um, usually I get baby Botox put up here. I've got a whole video on my Botox. Um, and I usually have baby, baby Botox because for me, I need to have to move my eyebrows up and down. Um, I've had it before where they did it lower and they used more and I hated it because I felt like my whole face was feeling heavy. I felt like my forehead felt heavy and I couldn't express myself. And you know how much I, you know, I use my hands on my face. So this, it felt like, I, you know, it wasn't me. So um, I, if you do want to go down the Botox route, I would start with less is definitely better. When it comes to fillers, that's another option. That's again injected under the eye area and that's for volume loss. So it's not for dark circles per se, it's for volume loss, which can happen with age. Ristylin and Juvederm are the two most popular brands. I've done a whole video for you on fillers. So if you are interested in learning more about fillers, please do go and watch that video. Don't forget to follow our private Facebook group called uh, Dr. V Sock Family. Uh, also you can follow us on Instagram. I've got two accounts, Skincare by Dr. V and Dr. Vita Rattan, also on TikTok, which is Dr. Vita Rattan. Also, we have this incredible book that I'm publishing with HarperCollins called Skin Revolution. I love it. It goes through every single ingredient for skin of color, how to combine them, mistakes that get made. It's for the beginner, it's for doctors because it's CPD accredited. Um, this really is my love letter for our global skin of color family. I can't wait for you to get your hands on this. You can buy them from Amazon. Um, and the link for that is down below too. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the notification bell because I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video to answer your questions. So please make sure you're here. Take care, bye.